We have visited 17 countries in total and have 13 children, 13 uh, countries, excuse me, 500 children from 13 different countries from around the world that are all here, collective tonight. It takes your breath away. And you, we as a group, we travel every week all over the world. Weekend here in Singapore, Hong Kong, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, wherever we go, and each week goes by, and I see thousands of children every Saturday. And we narrow the thousands down to just a handful. And then when we collectively come together here at Disney World, and you see the 500 that are here out of the tens of thousands that we see. We, we see about 75,000 children. To narrow it down to the 500 that you see here in this room tonight, that is remarkable. that Drew has done, and Kartika, and Nathan, and Rose, and everyone, Ali, everybody in the performance department, all of the efforts that they take to make sure that everyone here arrives with the knowledge and the tools that are necessary to be successful. Children, you are so fortunate to live in a time where you're able to be in a room here with people who have all kinds of different backgrounds, economic backgrounds, different beliefs, different religious beliefs, all kinds of people from all quarters of the world. We break those barriers. We break those stereotypes. We here are people. We're not someone of a particular belief. We are a belief of self. And that's what has brought all of us together here tonight. I am so proud of all of you to be here and to have worked so hard and many of you to have traveled from all corners of the globe to be here tonight. Children, I would like you to please thank your parents for making this possible. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. We have four very special hey, celebrities with us here this week. Now, I usually handpick and cast the children that are going to be the motivation, the role models, if you will, for the next generation of performance. Now, when you saw up on the screen, you saw kids like Hayden Byerly, Landry Bender, all these different kids, and many kids who aren't a marquee name, but work in the business every day, and have used Premier as a tool to gain tremendous self-confidence, and now, with this being our 18th program, we now have people who have grown up in the program, who are now adults themselves, who have their own families and their own career, but have gained so much wonderful experience and life skills from attending Premier, having done one commercial or no commercials, it just doesn't simply matter. What matters is the confidence and the journey that was taken, and using this as a stepping stone, the slogan of the program is, if you believe in yourself, the world believes in you. That's simply put. And the celebrities that are going to come out here are going to represent that in a very passionate way. Uh, the first person that I'd like to bring out is a person who's been on a couple of different Disney shows. She was on Dog with a Blog. Uh, she also is now on a show called Stuck in the Middle. Uh, what I'd like to do is, it, it, if Nathan has a clip, I'd like to throw Nathan off. He hates that. 
But if I have a clip, uh, if Nathan has a clip from uh, Stuck in the Middle, that would be great to show. Yes, we do. Celebrity Intensive today. Uh, tell everybody a little bit about your character and uh, on a Suck in the Middle. On Suck in the Middle? Okay, well Georgie is the second eldest of, the second, of all the seven kids. She's super quirky and athletic and very energetic and I, I love playing her. She gets herself into these really fun situations and a lot of physical comedy which is really fun and yeah, I enjoy every second. Now this is your second Disney show. Yeah. Uh, you were on Dog with a Blog. Uh, that's a pretty fortunate place to be. Yeah. Uh, tell everybody um, the work that you did with the kids today. Uh, what words of advice did you give the kids and what advice would you have for the children you didn't meet? Yeah, so I just read with the kids today and I would say just to be fearless and don't hold back. I myself, I get nervous at auditions and sometimes you don't go full out, but casting can see that. And um, yeah, to just not hold back, be fearless and and don't be nervous, because you know that shines through and there's nothing to be nervous about. You can always do it again and you know have a second try. So when you're fearless, that that shows and you, you look more confident, you act more confident. Wonderful. Guys, let's thank Kayla for being here with us today. <laughs> Kayla, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next, we're gonna bring out another young lady who has traveled the globe with us. Many of you have actually had the chance to meet her. Uh, she is on a show called Best Friends Whenever, and I think we're gonna play a clip, because Nathan has a clip, if I'm gonna get a thumbs up on a clip. I got a thumbs up on a clip. Stuff on our Epic Girls Day is a stop at the massage chair. Daisy, you are going to love this. It's like a chair that's super excited you're sitting on it. <laughs> we have chairs like this back home. Actually, we just saw a bunch of rats in a bag and sit on it. This is much better and less fighty. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, Jones, you go ahead. Uh, no, no, you didn't get a smoothie. You should at least get a massage. being here premiere. You've traveled the world with us. We've had super laughs. Um, I have gotten to know you really well and I think you're a super cool person. Oh, thank you. Um, 
what words of advice, because you've seen both sides. Now you have seen the evaluations on Saturday. You've seen the program. You've seen a lot of stuff, so what, what advice would you have for the kids this week? Uh, this week, it's definitely important to work hard, stay focused, but above all else, make sure you're having fun, because if you're not, there's no point to all of this. So just make sure you have a great time and you stay focused. Uh, tell us about uh, your, obviously, some of the kids who didn't get the chance to meet you today as well. Uh, best friends whenever, obviously, a really big hit, really popular show. Kids love you, they love the show. Um, the kids that had the chance to meet you today were very fortunate, and now the children that are here getting to see you as a role model, how does that play for you? Because that's a really big responsibility as a young person, being a good role model to these kids. That's a lot of responsibility, huh? Absolutely. It's a huge responsibility, but, um, you know, and especially if everybody is here, if everybody here is looking to get into kids' television, it's, it's something you're going to have to take on eventually as well. Um, but it's such an honor and it's such an amazing and incredible thing to do. So I'm, I'm super happy to, to have that opportunity. Guys, let's thank Lauren for being here. Thank you, Lauren. Next, we're going to bring out somebody who is a co-star of a very dear friend of Premier. Um, obviously, many of you know through our social media and uh, maybe even through the evaluation weekends that you've had with us on Saturdays, Peyton List is obviously a very dear friend to Premier. And this young lady that's gonna come out to the stage is one of her co-stars on her show called Bumped. We're gonna go ahead and play that clip. Something about a churning bark of blood? <laughs> Judy Dench. <laughs> what? I got surprisingly sweaty on the way over here. <laughs> Everyone, let's welcome to the stage Miranda May. person is, you probably do, Carol Burnett was like my first thought about you. Thank you, that's a huge compliment, yeah. thank you so much. I, I, to me, you remind me of that kind of like sketch, funny comedy. Now, you mentioned earlier that you do stand-up, right? Yeah, I've done stand-up since I was 10. Okay, since you were 10, <laughs> okay. Uh, and the support that your parents gave you obviously was huge. Um, tell us a little bit about the role that uh, that your mom has played in this to help you get to where you need to be for all the moms and dads out there. Yeah, I mean, my mom is my best friend, hands down. Um, but I think going through everything all the years and, and the hard times of being in LA, I always had my mom there. and. The best part about my mom is she was never making me do it. It was for me, I loved it, and I, I, this was my passion, and even when I wasn't booking, my mom was just right there next to me, but she was never telling me, you have to do this. I never had that mom. My mom just stood there and supported me and knew that I loved it, and I'm so thankful, because even on set now with Bumped, like everybody knows my mom, she, they love my mom, but she's never there like, as a presence of giving me her opinion on everything that I do, she's just supporting me. And she knows that I love it and it's what I'm meant to do and she just lets me have at it. And that's what I'm so thankful for with her. Now, what's it like to work with the amazing mm -hmm. Peyton List? <laughs> it's so fun. Peyton's my best friend, um, hands down on our set. We're born on the same day, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm two years older than her, but it's great having her. I mean, whenever we leave set, a lot of times we leave and go to her house and have sleepovers. Um, or we're in one of the other's dressing room. It's amazing. She's like a sister to me. I love She's her. She's an amazing person. And she, she spoke so highly of you. So we're really proud and happy to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Guys, let's thank Miranda for being here today. Thank you so much, Thank you. Next, we're going to bring out another young man who 
has been coming to the program who actually kissed Pink List on this stage. He was too young to kiss her, but he kissed her anyway. Do we have a clip? Yes. Peter, I'm the coolest kid at Booms. At least I was until he took my place while I was away at space camp. <laughs> coolest kid at Booms went to space camp. And I was the coolest kid there, too. Well, then I guess Booms has two cool guys. You're not as cool as you pretend to be, Joseph Gilligan Rooney. How did you find out my middle name? Not that that is my middle name, because it's not. And, unless it is, but I, I, I doubt it. Soon, I'll uncover all your secrets, and I will take you down! Guys, let's welcome to the stage super talented JJ Tota. Great to see you, JJ. Now, you were here in 2014, December, and you had your infamous moment that now has 5 million views on YouTube. Sorry. Kissing Painless. Uh, you are one of the few human beings that have ever done that. That's really is an art. It is. So, what was that like? I had a lot of people on the street very angry with me. Yeah. That I took the, the love of their life from them. Yes. And I have to say, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Thank you, Pei Pei. She knows she can call back for more. <laughs> So you just, you obviously that was uh, Linda Maddie, you did an episode of Linda Maddie, and then uh, JJ just had his Marvel film come out, just a small little movie. My Marvel film. Yeah. Called Spider-Man Homecoming. Anybody seen Spider-Man Homecoming? Yeah. JJ was in the movie. And I went to see it with my son. And he loved it. And your character in the movie is obviously really cool. And it was something that was very awesome for Marvel to do. Yeah. And it obviously is something that is trending. And you're at the forefront of that concept of being a person who is challenging the boundaries of, of conventional old people yeah. and allowing yourself to be yourself. Now, with that being said, the message of people believing in themselves, which is what Premier is all about. What advice do you have for the kids? Because you obviously have a lot of experience in being a role model and doing that. Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, and for those of you who don't know the character that I played in Spider-Man, um, was a little feminine, was a little different, a little bit like myself, you know, not the typical. Um, so I think that's what you're talking about. And it gained a lot of recognition that I didn't think would happen from, you know, a lot of great people. Um, but being yourself is so important, you guys. Like, literally going on auditions for uh, characters who, who weren't like me and I didn't feel like I could conform to or, or be to was really hard because I was never the one to like book the lead in like a TV show or like a movie or something. Um, but my mom and everyone else, and what I tell people, I kept doing that motto, which is staying myself. Um, and you know, after being in LA for a good six years, I've gotten the opportunity to, I'm excited to announce, I have my new NBC series coming out in a couple of months, and it's a character who is totally like me and myself, and I've been waiting for it, and um, it's just the most amazing experience. Well, congratulations, that's wonderful news. So stay yourself, it will happen, you guys. It will happen. People will come and find you and want you for you, so. Well, I think that's an important message because when you go in to read for something, you are trying to be what you think they want you to be. And if I'm understanding JJ correctly, you need to be yourself for them to want you. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. What is that? Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, guys, let's thank JJ for being here today. So, guys, we're going to cover a couple of items that I want to discuss that I think are very important to your child's success. Uh, social media, that we're gonna start with social media. 
Now, many of us as parents have gotten sucked in to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of this. When I had industry people talking to me about social media years ago, believe me, I, I wanted nothing to do with it. And it's become a part of our everyday life. Now, social media is something that is also used and recognized as a way to describe a popularity or a popular uh, score, if you will, amongst kids and how many followers that you have. So when a casting director is looking at a young person for a role, sometimes the studio will decide to hire that actor that has more followers than hire the actor that's more talented. Because sometimes it is about that. So I want to be very realistic with everybody. We have a social flyer that I'm going to put up here, that Nathan, if you can go to that graphic. A uh, couple of things that I want you guys to, to notice on that. You all got that in your packets when you got to registration. We have a photo contest on Facebook, a photo contest on Instagram, all of the live broadcasts that we're doing in the different social media channels. The reason you do that is because you, as a young person, want your parents to monitor your social media presence. Kids, you are not to be involved or be in charge of any of that stuff. Your parents need to be the ones to help you with this. But what I want you guys to realize is that the moment you get a callback, or you don't get a callback at the end of the week, you're going to be in a situation where eventually someone is going to ask you if you have a Facebook, if you have a Twitter, if you have an Instagram, whatever social platform that you want to use, it is an actor's profile for the world to see. It's not a profile for your personal life, it's a professional profile, much like parents who know about LinkedIn or anything that we may do on Facebook. There's privacy and then there's the public thing that we do on social media. So we're going to talk more about social media tomorrow uh, at the industry panel, but it's a very important thing for all of us to be engaged and to be involved. So a lot of the kids, when you do these contests on Facebook and Instagram, we're going to give some prizes away for the kids at the, uh, the awards night, for the kids who have the most popular Facebook and Instagram and all these things. So it's a fun thing to become a part of, but it's also a learning tool. And the reason I like to do that is because I want the parents to begin, if you haven't started on Facebook or Instagram or you're not socially engaged, we have to be engaged. Uh, especially if your child is going at the end of the week to end up with an agent, a manager, working with a casting director, working with a producer. It's going to come up, so it may as well come up from premiere. Now the other part of the puzzle that is going to be discussed later in the week is obviously an actor's demo reel. A lot of the stuff that you guys are doing here at premiere is live. You're doing it in person with a casting director or with a producer or an agent or a manager. Eventually, after premiere, when that agent or that manager or that casting director is interested in connecting with you again, at some point you're gonna to have to have a demo reel to showcase or to show off what you know. So your monologues, your scenes, and all the things that you guys have been learning up to this point, are going to eventually turn into a demo reel that you will use. Now, I've had conversations with the performers department, I've had conversations with Drew West about this. Uh, some families have already asked me about demo reels. Demo reel is kind of like your business card, but it shows you acting. It's basically a group of scenes that you either share online or you share uh, digitally. Uh, so, if any of you have any questions about demo reels, uh, like some of you have already come to me already, I would talk to Drew about that. Let's get into the top 10. Top 10 list for the week. Now, this is a silly list that we put together. It's common sense, but it's something we should go over. Number 10. Wardrobe. 
We want you to look your best. All of the industry people that are here at the program are staying at this property. So it's very important that if you walk around the property, obviously you want to look your best at all times. Number nine, badge placement, right hip. So basically that talent number that you guys got with the safety pins, it's gonna go on your right hip. The reason we use talent numbers is so that the industry people will use that as a guideline to write down your number if they're interested in giving you a call back. Number eight, photos and resumes. Now, I'd like to hand them out. Big question. Most of you already have your headshots and resumes. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna use that on the very last day. So it's not necessary to carry around your headshots throughout the week. You can use them on the last day at the open call photo drop and during callbacks. Number seven, industry professionals. I mean, obviously everybody that's here is very intelligent because I handpicked you. <laughs> and for that reason, the industry people that are here, whether they're from a studio or they're independent casting director, whatever they are, obviously they want not to have a situation where they're being, their parents are being pushy with them. So we want to keep a professional, keep it professional. Uh, number six, dance party. Parents, there will be alcohol at the dance party. Please do not exchange a glass of alcohol and lose your child. <laughs> it has happened. Keep an eye out on your kids. Number five. Oh my God. Celebrity photo op. So we have four celebrities that are here with us. I do have a surprise celebrity that's coming on the last night for awards night. But at the photo op, you guys are gonna have four celebrities. There will be two red carpets. So there'll be two celebrities on each carpet. What we do is we give you guys this ticket, you go through. What we ask is so that everybody gets the chance to see the celebrities, not to keep repeating the red carpet line to allow everyone to get the chance to see the celebrities in an ample amount of time. Number four, red carpet. You can take your photos on the red carpet. I mean, obviously we're gonna have the logo walls and we'll have a photographer here. Uh, what we do with the photographer is we have Nathan. So remember his name, his name is Nathan. So if, you, if, <laughs> if your photo's not on Facebook within four weeks, it's Nathan's fault. Number three. Be on time. Pay attention to schedule rotation. Uh, a lot of, now, this is, this is our third or fourth, fourth program, Nathan, at, here at the Swan, this is number four here, because we've done all of our programs at the Dolphin, which is across the walkway outside. Okay. And the reason we did this program here this time, because we've done the last 16 over at the Dolphin, uh, is because they're renovating their meeting space over there, so they asked us to be here for this one. These hallways here are much smaller than the hallways over at the Dolphin. So what we don't want you guys to do is to be too early for your performances and then it kind of gets crowded in the hallway. Just try to be on time, not too early. Number two, respect, obviously. Now, what I was talking about earlier are people that are here from 13 different countries who have backgrounds as diverse as you could possibly imagine. So what I ask is that everyone respect each other and respect each other for the way they look, for the way they dress, and for what they believe. Because we are all here united. We are one. Number one, have fun. <laughs> Break leg. <laughs> you guys
guys who traveled a long way and worked really hard. So remember, remember the basics. Remember to have a good time. Now, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to bring out Drew West, and Drew is going to bring out some of our premier ambassadors from around the world to share their stories and what they've been up to. Everyone, let's welcome Drew West. Thank you.